Hello my classy people, Wayne Bolden from the Speedy King channel. Hope everybody's having a great week up to this point. Of course, turn your closed captions on and remember, big race week this weekend over there at the parks in Ben Salem, PA, the PA Derby. Our tip sheets are available. Email me, speedking24 at yahoo.com. They're $15, the entire card. We'll give you all of our picks for sure. Well, let's take a look at a race over there on Saturday. Uh, it's race uh, number six, actually. Um, it is the Plum Pretty Stakes, a mile and 70, 200,000 for Register PA breads, three year olds and up, fillies and mares of Phil the Vape. And right away, we have a problem. Listen to this. Last year's winner of this race. Uh, is the number one horse, Chup Wagon, won the Plum Pretty Stakes last year, okay, here. The number one horse is two to one here, okay. Looks like the speed of the race, okay. The horse typically sprints, sprints, sprints. They're stretching out to a mile and 70. They did it last year, and they won the race, and they speed popped the field, okay. Uh, well, let me see what price they got last year. Uh, they got a price of even money so they're trying the same thing right with the one exception the trade there was a trainer switch 37 days ago from Guadalupe Preciado who's a very high win percentage on the Philly Delaware circuit Maryland circuit uh, Guadalupe Preciado is clicking at probably 21 22 percent he uses Sanchez as a bunch matter of fact they got two horses in in the fourth and fifth race that is strong but my point with Chuck Wagon is they change from Preciado after the July 16th race at Laurel which was 37 days ago into August 22nd where the first time Brendan had the horse okay uh, Regina Brendan, okay? She's a 7% trainer and she's using Gonzalez and they're over together. They have no percentage. So my question to you folks is, are we willing to take a 2 to 1 short price on the returning champ of last year's stake race here to a trainer, and no disrespect to Regina Brendan, she's just a 7% trainer, stretching this horse out to win a stake race for the first time under her tutelage. I mean, go going from Guadalupe Preciado's barn to Regina Brendan's barn is a big switch. The feed changes, the race schedule changes. So she literally had this horse about, she have had this horse probably for 60 days. The question is, are we willing to take two to one on this horse. Now he does clearly look like the speed from the rail uh, chuck wagon. I'm going to use him but he's going to be my third or fourth pick. We're going to go another way. I just wanted you to no uh, note that. There's a big jock, there's a big jock and jock change. There's a big trainer change on the one chuck wagon from Guadalupe Preciado to Regina. Sure she's a nice lady but she's still 7%. So be careful with the number one horse. Looks like the clear speed, and you know nobody loves speed more than me. But I am really leery, particularly at 2-1, to one, that she can get this done with Gonzalez in the arms. Okay, so I'm going to move the number one horse down in the third or fourth slot. So, let's go to my top pick then. Well, my top pick, I have to go outside. Leader of the band, that's right. Leader of the band, listen to leader of the band. Hey, listen, trained by John Service, right? Uh, leader of the band is 9 to 5 on the morning line, which is the favorite, and Chuck Wagon is the co-favorite, by the way. But leader of the band, to me, has 6 wins from 15 starts, almost 50%, 4 seconds and 3 thirds for 500,000. By band box, John Service is doing all the training, and him and Johnny V are 100%. Now, they only have one race together, but John Service is a 17% trainer. Everybody knows him on this New Jersey, Maryland, Philadelphia circuit. And the horse uh, won a stake race up at Saratoga this summer, which isn't an easy thing to do, the summer colony stakes for 135000 So to me, that was 36 days ago. To me, leader of the band 
has every right with a beautiful speed figure and has Johnny V back for the second time, okay, from Saratoga to Philadelphia to the parks. So to me, the number eight is uh, should be held on wheels here. I'm more comfortable taking this horse on top, uh, picking him on top as my first pick than picking Chuck Wagon with that serious uh, trainer change. So our top pick here will be the number eight horse. Our second pick is going to be the number three. You better take a look at this filly. The number three, Love in the Air. Well, Love in the Air is a four-year-old by Constitution. Again, this is another John Service horse, right? So he has the number eight, our top pick, leader of the band, and the number three horse is going to be our second pick, Love in the Air, at four to one with Mr. Paco Lopez in the yards, right? Dave Hammond should love that. Okay, the horse has won three of 11, four seconds and three thirds. So in other words, Love in the Air in 11 starts have hit the board 10 times, three of them will wins. You can't knock that. This is a very, very solid, solid horse. Now the question is, can the horse run on the dirt? Well, the horse has won on the dirt before, but the last three or four races the horse has been on the turf, except the last time when it was scheduled for the turf, they took it off. So I don't think the surface is an issue here. So our second pick is going to be the number three, Love is in the Air. Both John Services horses, we got one too. The number eight, leader of the band, and the number three, Love in the Air. Now, who's going to be my third pick? Well, I'm not even going to go to Chuck Wagon. I'm going to go to the number six horse, new hire. In other words, if you got a new job, you're a new hire. The number six is 10 to 1. Listen to this. This filly is by looking at Lucky. Seven starts, four wins, one second, and two thirds. In other words, this horse has never not hit the board in seven starts and four of them wins. How nice is the number six horse at 10 to 1? There is your value play right there. I like the number six horse here. Has two wins back to back in allowance at Penn National, Penn National. Now stepping into an overnight unlisted stake race for McLean. Is it Eric? Yet yeah, uh, Aaron McLannan, right, who's a 24% uh, trainer, hooking up with Connor, and together they're 26%. I think the value play in this race, in this year, Plum, uh, what's the name of this dumb, Plum Pretty Stakes, is the number six horse, our third pick, new hire at 10 to 1. So that's going to be our third pick. And if we are to round out our super in here, of course, it'll be the number one horse, Chuck Wagon, who we are very suspicious of in this spot. That's why we got the number one in the fourth spot. So for us, it's eight, three, six in that order. We think John Service had this race dead to right. Uh, with the eight and the three and the number six horse, our third pick, New Hire, is a clear, clear value play here. Our question here as a community and a handicap and folks is, what do we do with Chuck Wagon? I think that's a huge trainer switch. I'm only going to put him as a fourth chance to win this race as our fourth pick. So in this year's um, uh, sixth race over there, the Plum Pretty Stakes, the returning champ is Chuck Wagon. We got him as our fourth pick or her as our fourth pick. Our top pick is eight, three, six, in that order. Eight, three, six, and put the one horse to round out the super. Let me know what y'all think, particularly about Chuck Wagon. I'm not buying. I'm telling you, when you leave Gualiupo's Preciado's um, stable, you're leaving a very, very, Gualiupo Preciado, you're leaving a very, very good stable. I am very suspect of the number one horse. Chuck Wagon and I want to chuck him off the ticket. Eight, three, six, that order, y'all. Six race, the pretty plum stakes. Saturday at beautiful parks in PA. Stay classy, y'all. Let me know what you think about that Chuck Wagon. I don't like him.